Hey, I'm Adam Jusko, and this is Adam Answers, where we answer the burning and not so burning questions of the day. In this video, what is the best day to book a flight? What is the best day to get your airline tickets? That's what we're going to talk about. If this is useful to you, I hope you will give us a like, maybe subscribe. So this video is not going to be some original research about what the best day is. What I've done here is I have studied the studies researched the research, surveyed the surveys, synthesized down all of the information that comes from a lot of different sources to try to come up with the best answer to this question that so many people want to know. Unfortunately, with all of the studies that have been done and all the interviews with experts, all of this information from thousands of flights that have taken place in the past, there is no consensus on a best day to book your airline tickets in order to get the best price, which I realize is not what you were hoping for. However, there is some information that I can give you that hopefully would help you maybe figure out the day to get the best price and for sure figure out when not to buy. So let's start with that idea of what day of the week is the best to buy. In the past, there was sort of a story and maybe even some data to back it up that Tuesday was the best day to buy your airline tickets and the sort of story behind that was on Monday that is one when one or more major airline would kind of come out with their new sales and then all of the other ones would see what the deal was and they would match it so by the end of the day Monday or Monday night everyone would sort of have these same lowest prices to match those new deals which meant on Tuesday all of that would be available to you as a customer and that would be the time to get the best price Price. However, the sort of new conventional wisdom is that as computerization happened and automation happened and algorithms happened, basically all of this stuff sped up and things got more into real time in terms of matching deals and figuring out supply and demand and all of this sort of artificial intelligence and you know all the data that was available to back it up the human element kind of went out in terms of you know someone just matching a price that they saw and things could happen a lot quicker which meant Tuesday was no longer any more special than any other day because the deals were kind Kind of on a rolling basis based on what was happening with multiple data points in the market. Nevertheless, some travel experts are still going to tell you that Tuesday is the best day. So if you do further research after this video and see someone sticking to their guns on that one, don't be surprised. Now, looking at some of the more recent data that is out there, there actually is a little bit of a more concrete idea that Sunday would be the best day to book your airline tickets. However, the difference in prices that are sort of seen from this data are not very big. And so we're looking at thousands and thousands of flights in some of these studies for a, you know, five to cent five to 10% difference maybe in the price of an airline ticket. However, that's sort of on a macro level across the board. That doesn't take into account where you want to go. It doesn't take into account, you know, what time of day you want to leave, where you are going, what airport you are leaving from, all of that kind of stuff. So it's fine to have it in your head while well, Sunday is the day or Tuesday is the day, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Sunday or Tuesday are the best day for you based on where you want to go, when you are going, Going, all of that kind of stuff. Now, based on past information that is out there on many, many flights over a long period of time, there are two days of the week that it suggests you should not book your tickets, and those are Monday and Friday. However, even that you should take with a grain of salt, because if you really think about it, if Tuesday or if Sunday are the good days and Monday and Friday are the bad days. Now that we are in a place where everything is automated and we can figure out supply and demand and we can figure out when people are coming in to book, doesn't it just make sense that the airlines would have their algorithm set to say, if people are coming in on Tuesday, if that's when everyone is showing up, well then that's when we are going to actually make the prices higher because we know people are showing up on those days and they are buying. And if they're not buying on Monday, 
Monday and Friday because they think those are the days you're not supposed to buy, well then maybe those are the days that it's actually going to be cheaper to buy because there's not a lot of demand on those days. So once you get to a place where there is sort of a rolling algorithm that is checking the supply and demand, anything that you sort of think you can use as a travel hack sort of goes out the window because you no longer have a secret that nobody else knows because the computer can just kind of see when people are showing up and they sort of adjust things on the fly to make sure that they are filling the seats that they have on their airplanes. Now that said, there is some useful information out there in terms of how early you should book a flight compared to when that flight takes off. Now it is, to paraphrase Goldilocks, a little bit, not too late, not too early. So there's sort of a window of opportunity versus there being a specific day. One thing we can say almost for certain is that the closer you get to that flight day, the more the price is going to go up, especially within 30 days of the flight time. And this makes sense. Obviously, if the plane is filling up and there aren't that many seats left, well, then they can charge more for the seats that remain. Except, of course, when there isn't as much demand and those seats could go cheaper if you wait longer. But do you really want to live that dangerously? All right, so that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to wait too long, but what is that sweet spot, that window where you would find the best price for domestic flights, flights within the United States, that usually is going to be between five weeks out and 11 weeks out. Now that is a big window, that's a six week window. The way you probably want to play that is at 12 weeks, start watching the price, assuming you have the luxury of watching the price and you know where you're going 12 weeks out. Start watching that price from between 12 weeks out to nine weeks out. Give yourself about a three week period to look at those prices when you have hit that mark where you're at about nine weeks out. Well, then you know where the lowest is it has been from about nine weeks out to seven weeks out. You can see if it goes lower. If in that two week period, it goes lower than it was during any of that nine to 12 week period. Well, then that is probably the time to jump on it. If it sits at the same place from nine weeks to seven weeks, well, then maybe you can still kind of gamble a little bit that it may go lower. But once you get sort of between seven weeks and six weeks, you're getting to sort of the end of where you are going to get your best price. And if you get to six weeks and things haven't gotten any better, you probably should jump. Now for international flights, if you have the luxury of time, start checking the prices at six months out with the idea that between three and four months out is going to be the ideal time to jump on your best ticket price. Again, if you are watching from you know six months out to five months out to four and a half months out and you are seeing some movement there and then you see the price go below the lowest point when you were sort of researching the price, well then probably you should grab it at that time because you are getting to a place where you may have just seen the opportunity to get that lowest price. Yes, it could go lower, but if you've been tracking, you at least know where it has been up to that point, and you are now seeing that you are getting a better price than you had before. You can always take your chances, but between that three and four month period is the place where you're usually gonna get your best price on international tickets. Now with all of these numbers though, you again have to take it all with a little bit of a grain of salt because you should be thinking how many other people want to go to the same place I want to go when I want to go there. So if you are trying to book something over spring break or you're trying to book something over the Thanksgiving holiday or you're booking international travel at a time when everybody else wants to go to Europe, well then you know there is going to be some demand for those flights. Everybody else wants to get there too. And if you wait too too long, if you play games for too long, well then maybe you're not going to get the best price. And usually with all of the things you see on the internet about travel hacking and about how to find the best price and to find these sweet spots and these windows and everything, they often don't talk about the fact that there may be a lot of other people that want to get on these same flights that you want to get on and if you wait too long, you might not get a seat at all. All right, now if that all seems too negative or too wishy-washy, one piece of information I can give you that seems pretty rock solid is when is the best day to leave if you want to get the cheapest flights? And that means what day is the plane actually taking off if you want to and you have the flexibility to decide when to leave. The best day to leave on domestic flights, Friday. The best day to leave on international flights, Thursday. The worst days to leave, Sunday or Monday.
Now, I know you were hoping that you were going to watch this video and find out that the best time to buy a flight is Tuesday, 70 days out at 6.30 a.m., and that would be sort of the magical time, but unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. You do have to do your research. You want to track your flights for a certain amount of time. Use some of the good tools out there like Google Flights or Skiplagged or Hopper, things that not only track the past prices, but also do some predictions as to where prices are going based on data from the past. All of those are good to have the more flexible you are in terms of what time you want to leave, what day you can leave, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, that's going to play into getting the best price as well. So while we can't pinpoint the very best time for you to get the lowest price on the flight you might want to take, hopefully you've learned a couple things about what to avoid, days that maybe you don't want to actually take off or when you want to buy to sort of find that sweet spot window. You don't want to be the first one to buy your ticket on the plane and be the sucker that pays so much more than everybody else, but you don't want to be the last person on the plane who pays so much more than everybody else because you waited too long. So make sure you're kind of tracking those flights and doing the best you can. You're never going to get the best price on every flight that you want to take, but the more knowledge you have, the more research you've done, the better you are going to do. That is it. Questions, comments, put them in that comment section. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.